Well, I guess it all began like many other artists my age, by listening to records down in the bedroom. You misunderstand me When there is simply No mystery to it all By the time I was 17, I was in my first rock band. At 18, I recorded my first single and then recorded a further three singles when I was 20. Our case was based on the fact that singing and performing wasn't necessarily a pipe dream. It could be treated as a small business. There were plenty of venues out there, pubs, clubs, holiday camps, and you could go out and perform as a self-contained act. They accepted our case and gave me two grants. In those days, there was a huge resurgence in the popularity of 50s and 60s music. You had Ghost, which was at the top of the film charts, and you had Unchained Melody, which was the theme song for that film, at the top of the music charts. So there were many young singers that were singing songs that were 30, 40 years old. I still love some of the top household names in the country. Artists and performers that had their own Saturday night shows. One day I was sat in my mother's house and she put the CD on and I heard this most amazing voice. It was Andrea Bocelli and the song was called Canto della Terra. From the point where I attempted to learn my first aria, to the point where I performed in front of 15,000 people with the Royal Philharmonic, full 85-piece orchestra behind me, was just 18 months, and it was an incredible experience. The Western Daily Press, a regional paper, asked those who attended who they thought was the best performer there, and I came out number one, which was such a flattering sentiment something which I will never forget.